What up, party people? Welcome to another episode out here of Cook Around and Workout. I'm your host, James O'Leary. Uh, what we got for you today is super simple, quick lunch. Uh, there's going to be a grilled cheese on there. This is the first of many. Um, this one will actually be vegetarian. It'll have a little bit of heat, and then I'll kind of counter that with a little bit of creamy avocado. Uh, and then we're just going to do some plantains on the side. If you want to learn about making those, watch the other video. I just wanted all my food to come out at the same time. Uh, so what I use, and the thing that people don't appreciate, is how you can throw together different cool grilled cheeses with different breads. So I actually got my hands on this jalapeno cheese bread that they have at uh, Wegmans, but you can probably find something similar just about anywhere. Uh, like the bread game is so key. And then the cheese game too, like if I really wanted to go crazy, I could use that scorpion cheddar that I was running with on the mac and cheese video that didn't officially get posted, but whatever. Uh, I could do something sharper, I can do something kind of like creamier, you can do different cheeses too. So like don't th just default to crummy white bread and fake cheese pasteurized product of questionable color. Like play around with it a little bit. So I'm just going to take these two and because I'm adding the avocado I'm going to throw these two flat down on the pan. I'm just kind of grilling those until the cheese starts to melt. At the same time, I'm taking my plantains that I've already cut, and I'm going to put these in this pan. And I got my foot with a little bit of hot olive oil, but whatever. So armadillos, we've already talked about, but rhinos we haven't. And rhinos are cool. Because even though they have different names like black rhino and white rhino and everything else, they're all gray. They can get huge. Like the biggest ones can get to be up to 11 feet long and up to 6 feet tall. Another kind of crazy thing with rhinos is that their horn isn't actually like a tusk, it's more like a hair type fiber. And it grows over their life and if they lose the horn they can regrow it. There's one whose horn was over 4 feet long. They're also actually distant relatives of like tapirs and zebras and some other four-legged animals with odd numbers of toes. Kind of crazy. So yeah, this cooks very quickly. And I'm just sitting this. The cheese in this bread is actually going to melt too, which will create a really cool effect. Now while I'm screwing with these, I'm back over here. And for this, I'm just going to take the avocado. Let me take a gander real quick. I'm just gonna take the avocado and kind of evenly line it up. It's all gonna get smashed up in a minute anyway. So there's that, rinse my hands real quick. Rhinos can also run 35 to 40 miles an hour, which makes them moderately terrifying creatures. I wouldn't mess with them. Poachers might, but poachers are idiots and deserve to be shot, like Carol Baskin. Kidding. If you haven't seen Tiger King, you don't get the joke. This thing's flaring up just a smidge. So I'm going to turn down this grease. These guys are done. It's a quick video. Turn this back up. So, uh, turned all of these off. Let the grease chill there for a second and then I'll reuse that later. And then when I line this up, just adjust the cheese a little bit and I will grill the closed sandwich for just a touch not too long because otherwise it'll fall apart so while that's working there you can see the end product of the plantains uh, if you want to learn how to do that watch the other video they're really cool though because they do have more potassium than bananas and they're easy to find and you actually keep them until they're almost black or the peel is like black, like something that you would have long ago thrown away the banana, that's when the plantain is actually perfect. I'm glad I remembered to turn off the heat in this video. Not like the last one, or the first one rather, where I left the burner on. That was exciting. Yeah, so you can see the cheese is actually melting in the cheesy jalapeno bread, and that's going to make a really cool effect. And I'm just going to toast up this other side for a second. I've got this on like four on my burners, or at least I did before I turned it off. Um, kind of play it by ear. You don't want it too hot. Like I used to cook these and they would tell us to cook them on a grill that we had set for burgers that was like 500 degrees. And it would just like torch the bread and the cheese wouldn't melt. You need to keep it low enough that the cheese will melt. 
but you also do want the bread to be crisp to hold it together, especially if you start getting more creative with these and adding in, you know, avocado, adding in things that add some liquid to it. You don't want to totally lose that. Okay. So, there's that. When I cut these, I usually will do a diagonal. And then I stack it because it looks pretty when you plate it. So, this is just one easy, firm diagonal cut. So, I've got my knife hand on top of the blade. Go diagonal across the bread. You hear the crunch. Bam. Nailed it. Avocado might kind of slide out, but that's okay. We can deal with that later. And then I plate it. I'll put it right here. And there you have it. Grilled cheese with jalapeno cheesy bread avocado and then some fried plantains. Just kind of an interesting take on an American classic. So thank you for tuning in, learning about some grilled cheese and some rhinos. Hope to see you guys next time here on Cook Around and Work Out. Peace out. Stay socially distant.